UC Bearcats and the sixth ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. My partner Dan Horde begins our coverage of a game that was oh so close. It was obvious on Cincinnati's first possession that the Bearcats' plan for upsetting OSU depended on Gino Gadouli. UC's first five plays were passes, and Gino completed all five. That led to a one-yard touchdown run by DeMarco McCleskey that gave UC a 6-0 lead less than five minutes into the game. I, th I think they might have looked past us, but, you know, when we catch them doing that, we got to come out and knock them out, and we had too many opportunities early to do that and didn't do it. If Cincinnati's quick strike was a surprise, the Bearcat defense in the first quarter was a total shock. The Buckeyes had five possessions that ended with three punts, two turnovers, and only one first down. I'm extremely proud of our defense, particularly because we've been maligned the last week. And uh, so we got, uh, got things going over there, and I thought those guys play extremely hard. A 44-yard field goal by Jonathan Ruffin gave Cincinnati a 9-0 lead, which the Buckeyes cut into in the second quarter. On third and two at the 20, the Bearcats stacked up to stop the run, and Ohio State fooled them with a pass as Craig Krenzel hit a wide-open Ben Hartsock for the score. Still at the half, Cincinnati led 12-7. to It wasn't anything that Cincinnati was doing to us. You know, They had done to us what we had prepared for. Um, they, they, they didn't really throw anything new at us. And, and we knew that we needed to go out and just correct some of the mistakes that we were making and go out and play better football in the second half. The two teams traded touchdowns in the third quarter. A five-yard pass from Krenzel to Chris Vance gave Ohio State its first lead at 14-12. to but Cincinnati answered as Gino Gadouli hit Ty Keith for a five-yard score, giving the Bearcats a 19-14 lead heading to the fourth. Two huge runs by Krenzel pushed the Buckeyes in front. First, a 29-yard scramble that gave Ohio State a first down inside the 10 and eventually led to a field goal that cut UC's lead to two. Then with three minutes and 44 seconds left in the game, the junior quarterback managed to spin through three defenders on a six-yard touchdown run that put OSU in front 23-19. It really was his legs that won the ball game for them. Uh, you don't realize that but because they won't show it up in the stats, but when he rolled hard left down on the five-yard line and kept that ball alive, then knifed it in there, that could easily have been a sack. Cincinnati needed to go 80 yards for a game-winning score, and Gadouli masterfully guided the Bearcats down the field, mixing up passes and runs to give UC a first down at the Ohio State 15-yard line with less than a minute to go. We knew we had four shots in the end zone, mm -hmm. and usually four shots, we're going to get one of them. We're going to get probably two of them in our team, but the way we've been in the past, you know, we do that all the time. On the first play, Gino lofted a throw to John Olinger that he just missed pulling down for a game-winning touchdown. But the Cats came even closer two plays later as George Murray nearly made a spectacular diving catch before losing the ball when he hit the ground. He put it up in the air, the only place he could put it, perfect ball. I had it the whole way when I hit the ground, it rolled up. Cincinnati had one last shot with 32 seconds to go and Gadouli's pass into the end zone was picked off by Will Allen. The Buckeyes win a thriller before a record crowd at Paul Brown Stadium. The final score, Ohio State 23, Cincinnati 19. We were very fortunate to, to leave uh, Paul Brown Stadium with a win, but uh, I'm awfully proud of the way our kids just kept playing and playing and playing. My heart aches for our kids, man. We played hard and had a chance to win against a marquee program, an in-state school, and a big rival game like that, and would have meant so much for us. I just feel like somebody's on took a dagger and just drove it in my heart. I think it's safe to say no team in the country has played three more exciting games than the University of Cincinnati. Unfortunately, the Cats have come up short in the last two, losing today to Ohio State 23-19. And Dan, you know what? I think the really surprising thing about this game is they came in, their defense was ranked 106th in total defense, playing a Buckeye team that was scoring over 40 points a game, and they were up to the task. After giving up 523 yards against West Virginia, the UC defense made its point early in this game. On the Buckeyes' first three possessions, they were three and out. On the fourth, UC forced a Buckeye fumble and recovered. UC was sending a message. When we were at the hotel, as a defense, we got together and said, you know, we're going to cut our teeth, you know. We're going to be like a, a pack of wild dogs hunting and just hunt. When you grab, when you hold on, just hold on to the rest of your help come. And we really played like that. By halftime, UC had held Ohio State to 131 yards total offense, 61 yards on the ground, and led 
12-7. When you play long field and field position, you stop the run like we did in the first half, you have a chance to win. But with the second half came offensive breakdowns that turned it into short field for the Buckeyes. Ohio State made it 14-12 on a 36-yard drive, and the winning touchdown followed a 47-yard drive. Our defense played so well. I wish our offense was, could have got them a win. Uh, they gave us so many opportunities to do so in the first half, and we should have converted a lot more. I'm hurting for our team, um, you know, but at the same time, I'm proud of them. They came out here, and, and we all gave it all up, all we had. Yeah, we came up short, but we still won. You know, we won. We won respect. They did that. They held the sixth ranked team in the nation 17 points below their scoring average. Up next for the Cats, Temple and Philly next Saturday. Quarter action, the hefty lefty, Jared Lorenzen out of Highland. Lobs the loaf to Derek Abney. 33 yard touchdown. Wildcats jumped out to a 14 0 lead. The Cats have a pretty good ground game, too. Arto's Pinner breaks a couple of tackles en route to this nine yard score. Big Blue up 24 8. Jay Lolo, he likes to go up top, does it again. Quick strike over the middle to Aaron Boone, the other Aaron Boone. Takes it 72 yards to the house. Lorenzen third TD pass of the game. Cats up 15, 37, 22. Later, Jared with a pitch to Penner. He breaks one, two, three, count them, four tackles. He's gone 54 yards. Yep, he has gas. Kentucky's 4-0 for the first time since 1985. UK takes Middle Tennessee State 44-22. Miami opening up play in the MAC against Kent State. Luke Clemens starts the scoring in the first quarter. A little one-yard run. Miami up 7-0. And Luke Clemens kept the scoring going for the Red Hawks. From the 11, little cutback. Oh, yeah. 14-0 Hawks. Kent would respond with 10 unanswered points. Heading to the half. But you know Miami and you know Ben Roethlisberger flushed and then delivering the seed to Michael Larkin. Miami opens MAC play with a win. Hawks take Kent State 